Hey, we're here with Marcelo, who is the communication specialist at Canadian Blood Services, and we're here to give blood and learn about about blood and giving blood. Canada's blood system more or less provides blood and blood products for hospitals across the country. We have a national inventory system, so we're all joined together. Um, we work with our hospital partners to plan out what their needs are. We collect just under 130,000 units for 130,000 donations a year. Um, so that just gives you some sense of the need that exists. What kind of people do you help? Who, who needs blood? Moms who are delivering children, sometimes hemorrhage during childbirth. Mm -hmm. They'll receive blood. Um, children who are being treated for leukemia, and so those healthy blood cells have to be replaced with fresh blood, and in so doing, it gives their body the energy and the oxygen that it will require for them to sustain the treatment. Mm. People who are getting heart surgeries will also need it. I mean, yes. it, it covers a lot of ground. You'd be amazed at how often blood is required for any number of things. Blood has a very short shelf life. So the analogy we give out is that, you know, it's like a carton of milk. It will expire and we need to have it replaced. So in part why we ask people to become a regular blood donor and why we try to rebook them when they come in. Yeah. So these are all important reasons of why we should give blood, but there are some misconceptions of who can give blood. So I know there is a, a pretty extensive screening process and so if people are thinking about giving blood, um, who, who would be a good donor? Um, well, I think the first thing I would do is anyone thinking about donating blood is realize that our one triple eight to donate number, which is one eight 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 two three six six two eight three, there are operators um, on that number twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, all year long, and there are registered nurses that are there. There's all sorts of different criteria, so those operators can share that with people, and you can also get most of, not all of that information on our website, which is blood.ca. It's quite comprehensive. Okay, so say if I went to the website and I, I look like I'm a good candidate and I make my appointment, for the day that I give blood, do you have any tips before I come in for, for things for me to do? Eat a nice healthy meal the night before. When you wake up that day, you eat a nice breakfast. Have plenty of liquids. Really treat yourself nicely. Don't make that your workout day. Work out another day. Do everything you can to enjoy yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Both from a nutritious standpoint, relaxation standpoint just so that you come in feeling good strong full you know ready to ready to help save a life it was good yeah. yay I can give my iron is good <laughs> and hold your fist there okay. it's it was not bad at all oh good stuff yeah, now it's cookie time. Yeah.